Now, the wedding season is in full force. Here to guide us through the do's and don'ts of yours or someone else's big day is etiquette expert William Hansen. <laughs> Very, very, very good. Thank you very much. Well, you've made an effort as well, Sheila, <laughs> haven't you? <laughs> Don't start on me because I only found out this morning that I was getting married. <laughs> so I didn't have the chance to go and buy the stuff. So it's right. not a shotgun wedding, though, is it? <laughs> because that this would is be casual. Disaster. We need to relax. So well, you, you can't get more relaxed than that. Can you? <laughs> talk, about, talk us through the, the tales. They're classic wedding attire, are Classic they? wedding attire. This is what was worn by the guests to the royal wedding in 2011. It's called morning dress. Not a morning suit, right. as some people call it. Because it's not a suit, because it doesn't. No, there's nothing matching. Right. So it's morning dress. Dress, not a morning suit. Okay, well, it uh. looks fabulous on you. Should we sit? Yes, let's sit. Okay, so this is. Uh, the G Gino, oh. Gino, could, oh. you, could hey. you pull out that? Oh, yeah, he, he always forgets that. It doesn't are you matter. Okay? I'm fine, thank you. Are you right? looking down my dress? No. <laughs> That's not etiquette. <laughs> uh, this is my wife, I do whatever I want. <laughs> Later, now sit down. Looking forward for the honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sit down. Really. All right, um, so uh, how far. Uh, no, don't do Little that. Not speeches yet. Is it, no, no. Or oh, the kiss. In Italy, we bang the glass when we want a kiss. Well, welcome to Britain. Put that down. <laughs> this is going to be one boring wedding. I'm telling you right now. So how? Does the concept of marriage date? Well, we think that the first recorded wedding was in t was 2350 BC in Mesopotamia, which is Iraq nowadays. Right. And traditionally, I mean, back then, thousands of years ago, marriage wasn't actually anything to do with religion or love. So, at least Katie Price's weddings are historically accurate. <laughs> What about engagement rings and wedding rings? Where does that come from? Well, that comes, that sort of, we put them on the fourth finger of our left hand. Yes. Folklore says that there's a vein that runs straight to our heart. Oh, yes. Really? And a That's wedding... why I don't have my one on. I'm just worried to get a heart attack. <laughs> right. Uh, you know, I knew that. Do you know, why don't you? Uh, know I never wear my wedding ring because of health and safety, because I'm a cook. Yes. So oh, I don't yes. want the food to put it yeah, there. Yeah, of course. Yeah, very and I couldn't find it. I can't find it anyway. So. <laughs> Wedding rings are generally round and flawless to symbolise eternity. It's a nice little thing. Lovely. And whereas engagement rings generally have diamonds on because Cupid's arrow, supposedly the god of love, had a diamond tip to pierce uh, the heart Ooh, of someone. So it's a like nice little sort of tradition. Very are, you nice. here? are you hearing that? Really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> and why when I come to your weddings, I know exactly what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and why do grooms have best men or best a best man? Well, this goes back to the 16th century with the Germanic Goths, where there was a, sh a, a short supply of, of women in their own tribe, so they would have to go to another tribe to capture a woman, and so the, the bachelor, you literally, actually yes. and so the, the groom or groom-to-be would take a man with him, his best man, to, to help with that process. So it's sort of like a 16th century wingman, really. <laughs> <laughs> I do believe that's a modern term. Oh, yes. A wingman? Right, OK. Yes. Um, and why is it that traditionally the bride's family pay for the wedding? Do people really do that now? No, I mean, it, really, it depends on, on the circumstances. Yeah. Everyone oh, can, look what can I can do with him. the... Uh... <laughs> oh, Are you allowed to do that at a wedding breakfast? Just to break the eyes a little bit, will you? <laughs> no? This Brick. is getting pretty boring. Oh. <laughs> I'll break your leg in a minute. Just put it on, <laughs> put it on the side. So let's look at modern <laughs> weddings. The, the wedding breakfast. I was a bit confused about this. The, so I thought it was the breakfast before people got married. It's actually no. It's what we call the reception. The meal, reception really. meal. And it's the first sort of meal that you have as a married couple after it's your first meal. The first meal you have in the day is breakfast, etc. I see. And you wouldn't have really been allowed to eat up until the communion that you had if you had a traditional. Um, wedding service up until then, so it is it is really your oh. first meal. Can I ask you a question? You a may. serious question. And uh, there change. is any uh, uh, etiquette for, uh, you know what I mean, the night of the wedding? Right. <laughs> there is any behaviour or I can just go for it? <laughs> you know, go for, you know what I mean, you know, because sometimes, is it going to have to be like, oh, don't do this, don't do that, don't touch here, don't touch there, you know, what is it? Well, hopefully by then you know what your, your wife likes, so you can just go with that. <laughs> All right. There's no rules. There are no rules on 
you wedding I've night. I've never been asked that question before. <laughs> and let's hope not so again. If, if you're at the wedding and you're not happy with the food, you don't like the service, can you complain? Can you ask to get another plate? Not if you're the guest. No, you right. can't start saying, because someone else is paying for it, it's a bit rude. Try and eat as much as you can on your plate. Push it to the side if you really don't like it. OK. And, uh, what about seconds? Can I go for seconds if I like it really? <laughs> it's if it's a buffet, and actually Prince William and Catherine's uh, wedding in 2001, the, the wedding breakfast was a buffet. Was oh, it? Right. Yes. So, then, yes, if you're you invited up, then... What just... about third, fourth, fifth? Because people do do that. I yeah, know, they do. Yeah. You have to pile up the first plate. I think that's the tip. No, but then pile it up. Don't no. pile it up, really. No, you can always go back for seconds, but right. don't look greedy. OK. Yes. <laughs> OK. That's why I didn't get invited for Kate and Williams. You know? <laughs> I knew there was something wrong. Okay. OK, so what about the wedding cake? Yes, well, there's a lot of stuff to say about the wedding cake. Shall we uh, go and have a look yes, at the beautiful cake? Yes, let's go over. We shall. We shall. Help. Well, you're supposed to help her out, but yeah. It's all right, I can get up. I must, of course, help her out coming in and out of the chair. Yes. I have a married a disabled wife. She can do it by herself, <laughs> can she? Come, come OK, and, come just and, stop, come stop making stand things difficult. Right. <laughs> And this is supposed uh, to be me? These are supposed to be you two, apparently. Um, I don't know if the cake maker was sent a photograph. <laughs> I, don't, I hope not. Have you seen my no. teeth on it? <laughs> <laughs> wow. OK, so yes. this is a traditional wedding cake. It's tiered. It's tiered, and uh, the mo modern wedding cakes like this are modelled on St Bride's Church here in London, uh, which the, the dome is, is tiered. OK. Although many, many years ago in Britain, the wedding cake were round and flat, so just like the bottom layer. Yeah. And most wedding cakes now are fruit cakes with nuts, because fruit and nuts symbolise fertility. OK. Mm. Now, we've really? got a couple of yes. photos of the royal cakes mm. uh, that William and uh, Catherine Beautiful had. Look cake. at that one. That's Ooh. got lots That's of layers. That's a lot of layers. It's eight yeah. tiers. But they had a lot of guests, didn't they? They did have a lot of guests. Yeah. And they have, they, on that cake was 900 um, flowers, sort of, you know, sugar flowers. Amazing. So beautiful. And, and why do the bride and groom cut the well, cake? What, what does it signify? I didn't do the cake cutting at my wedding. It no. was there. It's quite an old-fashioned thing and not everybody does it, but if you want to sort of go down the traditional route, then by all means do but it. But what does it signify? It's the first sort of thing you do, at, act T together. Oh, stop look. it, Gino. I no. can see the jokes. Stop no, no, no. It. We, we, we got Mel's cake on screen now. Look. Oh, yes. Oh, that's my that was look. my wedding cake. And that was Beautiful. made. That was made by that's G. Charman, our, our home econ economist on, on the show. Isn't it? Beautiful. There's fresh flowers and, yeah. But we didn't, we didn't cut it in front of everyone. Oh, Oh, and that's you too. That's me and Jack. Oh. Yeah, that was my big day. It was amazing. Oh, lovely. Anyway, sure, well, well, I've got gonna another big day now. now. Yeah, we're going to yeah. cut it now. Right. So. Now, you might use most. Uh, modern couples opt for a, just a normal cake yeah. size, but traditionally you would have used a ceremonial sword like this. Now, yep. Gino, be careful. I'm going to hand it first to Mel, actually, because actually that's correct. Your right hand, and then with your right hand, you guide your wife, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> cut, <laughs> cut a slice off. This yeah. could go yes. wrong. Yeah. Remember, you've got three more weeks of the show, so you need okay. to ask. Okay. You, you get just put the pressure. Yeah, do you I'll wanna... do the pressure thing. Okay. What's your I'll put a bit of pressure in Flip there. Flip it. Like. Look at that. We need a saw. <laughs> we have a saw. <laughs> Just cut a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna uncut it away. <laughs> you hold on the table. Is it supposed to take this long? <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> this is how you feel after uh, you marry me. <laughs> how long is it taking? <laughs> when will this be over? <laughs> Good. And uh, yeah. <laughs> So well, there we go. Good. You're eating for six. There we go. Ah, and uh, then the wedding cake would be taken off and cut. And what about up. the sword? Just, we'll take that off and wash it. All okay. right. <laughs> well, we'll have a nibble of that. Fine. Thank you so much. Well, it's this lovely is very, to have very you. interesting. It's been a very interesting. If I get married again, I will follow all of it. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> lovely. And, and just before we go on, if anybody was offended with Gino's comments, we are very, very sorry. All right, ladies and gentlemen, William has it, not generally throughout the piece.